Your main goal must be to glorify God, not just get out of a miserable marriage. That's got to be the main goal of your life. What is the purpose of your life? It's got to be to glorify God. You may have a hidden agenda deep down. Oh, I can't wait just for an excuse to get out of this marriage. Wrong goal. Your place there is a missionary in that marriage. Your focus can be upon winning your spouse over to righteousness, as we saw in 1 Peter 3, 1 through 7. That's what your goal should be. And I'm going to tell you, the mentality of Christian women has radically changed over the past couple hundred years. Radically changed. You say, how, how can you say that? Well, listen to this. Look, look how this is compared and contrasted. This is Sarah Pierpont Edwards. Remember, she was married to Jonathan Edwards, who was the, one of the first presidents of Princeton University, which was originally called the College of New Jersey. He died prematurely of a smallpox inoculation. But Sarah Pierpont Edwards was a wonderful gal who loved the Lord and loved her husband. But listen to what she says here. She finds her security and happiness in God alone. She says, if he, quoting her, her husband, Jonathan, should turn to be cruel to me and should horsewhip me every day, I would so rest in God that it would not touch my heart or diminish my happiness. I could still go in the performance of all the acts of duty to my husband and my happiness remain whole and undiminished. <sighs> I remember the first time I ever read that, I'm going, what, is she nuts? If he would horse whip her every day, she could still do that? And I began to realize what kind of heart this woman had. This is why I talk about the grace of God bringing about fearlessness. Fearlessness. But today, we've got statements like this. This is Leslie Vernick in her book, The Emotionally Destructive Marriage. She says this, if you live with a difficult husband, an emotionally harmful husband, when you put your foot down and say, I will not allow myself or the kids to be treated this way anymore, it's destructive to me, to them, and to our marriage, you are not, you are not going against God by speaking uh, the truth in love, but you refuse to pretend and stay together at any cost, including your own physical, emotional, mental, or spiritual health. Now, let me ask you real quickly, of those two statements... Who's focused on glorifying God here? Sarah's is. Leslie Vernix is focused on protecting self, which is the sunum bonum of secular counsel. That's the highest good. 